Hey, it's Vinnie Paul. Chad Gray. And we're from Hell Yeah! Hell yeah. And you're watching the LimeWire Music Vlog. basically went down to Vince's house uh, see it's kind of started in May or whatever those guys getting together I didn't get down there until October uh, I mean we would like go in for a few days and then leave for months and Greg and I were doing mud vein stuff so we finishing that up and then uh, pretty much fully got going on in October yeah we went down there to Vince's house we'd set up a kit in his uh, in his uh, living room the living room yeah. I guess by the Christmas tree Right and uh, it's there all the time. And uh, every day is Christmas at Vinnie Paul's house. Christmas and Halloween. Oh, yeah. And uh, so we set the kid up and, you know, got a monitoring situation going on. Up in one of his bedrooms upstairs, we uh, set up Pro Tools rig, hit record and started going. And, uh, you know, that's one of the great things about this band. We don't demo. Uh, we just we hit record and start going. So literally, like what you're hearing on the record is some of the first times that we played through the songs. I mean, we'd go back and you know do some guitar overdubs and stuff like that. And I obviously you know uh, track vocals normally, uh, but I but we don't demo and like re-record it again. We just we record and then we write and just kind of go from there. So and it really captures the raw first inclination that you have of the song when you're playing it you know a lot of people make demos and then they go back and try to duplicate it and they're always like man it ain't as good as the demo it ain't you know well the reason why is because the demo is special because that's when you wrote it you were feeling that emotion that's what was going on and it maintains a really dangerous element you know that element when you're playing drums and you're like does it go to that part next or what you know and there's there's, there's things that just it creates excitement you know chaos so to speak sometimes so it works out really good for us and uh everybody I think came into this record a lot more confident after the first record. Uh, we knew who we were after touring together. We knew what Hell Yeah was all about. We really uh, we, we had it focused at that point. And so it was a lot easier, I think, for all of us. We look at it like we're just a brand new garage band, you know? I mean, none of us came into this looking at it like, all right, I gotta have my manager, you gotta have your manager, we gotta do this, this, you know, we were like, hey man, let's just get together and jam and have some fun. You know, I had total respect for Mudvayne, Nothing Faced, uh, they all have the likewise respect for the things I've done in the past. And we just kind of put all that to the side and just said, hey, let's just fucking jam, man. And, and that's how it all came about. So they wanna call us a super group. We've done some pretty super things in the past, but we're looking forward to doing some really super stuff with this band right here. I do a lot of the producing myself and then Sterling Winfield has uh, worked with me since Far Beyond Driven on all the Pantera records from that point forward. Uh, he helped us with the Rebel Meets Rebel record, he helped us with the Damage Plan record, he worked with us on the first Hell Yeah record and he was a, a really good part of this record. You know, Sterling's awesome, he's a, a pretty good listener for the most part every now and then he gets caught up in text message world once in a while too much but <laughs> that's usually when i'm tracking them. you know we, we call him several names when he's doing really good i call him starling because he's just a star when he's kicking ass but when he shows up and his old lady's been beating him down and all this i call him struggling <laughs> and when he's having a bad day he's like oh this fucking pro tools and this and that. i said come on struggling you got to get it together man so he's got a couple of good nicknames and he's great to have around and i'm sure we'll always use him right now we're playing uh cowboy way stampede um, Death at Almond Pay. Death at Almond Pay, and oh, we were going to do a hell of a time, but we decided we we're going to wait until people would really get an yeah, opportunity to hear the song. There was one more. Uh, what else did we rehearse? Uh, I don't even remember. But we had about half the album done, and uh, I'm sure we'll do the whole thing. You know, once people are familiar with it, we get into a headline situation. Last night was our first, uh, or a couple nights ago. Brooklyn was our first headline show, and uh, even some of the other stuff, Star, we had to go over rehearsal because we never had an opportunity to rehearse it before we left. So uh, for us to have a show that went down that good after having about three or four rehearsals and then hitting the road in between mixing, mastering, making videos, album cover art, this, everything you can think of, uh, it's been a roller coaster these past couple of weeks, man. We've all been pushed to the grindstone and then some. Record's really diverse, man. That's the beautiful thing about this band. We never pigeonhole ourselves into a corner and just have to be a metal band or whatever. We we cover a lot of ground, man. It's uh, got some really, really deep emotional lyrics on it. It's uh, heavy as we've ever been before, if not heavier at times. It's got a little bit more southern groove to it at times. 
it just uh, it's all over the place, you know, and we really feel like that's a special thing and part of what we do. I told Chad, I said, well, you know, after that, man, we got to go to the one that goes, dare to dare, 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 dare. That would be too much to walk out to that every night. But, yeah, it's, I mean, that's just kind of what we are, you know what I mean? It's like, it's kind of got that, you know, trucker, hillbilly kind of vibe, which is good for us, man. It's like where we all come from. We're all really down to earth people. We've managed it through all the, you know, success that we've had uh, individually and together, you know what I mean? Like we've always managed and wanted to keep our feet on the ground and like, so we're still relative to real people, you know what I mean? I've never wanted to, you know, sit up on a pedestal. I know he doesn't, one of the greatest people I've ever met. And I think, I think it's, uh, you know, this has been a great, a great example of, you know, how people are supposed to carry themselves. So it's, it's, it's been awesome. And I, I think that that, that song is kind of, that, that intro is just kind of what we are. Let's do it. Load Let's do it. Bucket. Have some fun. Light it up. Here comes the stampede, motherfuckers. We are who we are. Every time we take the stage, man, it's like a fucking force, you know. And no matter what people think, that's what we got going on in our heads. So, I mean, that's, that's doesn't matter if there's two people there, 25,000, 250,000, we're going to play the same fucking way. It doesn't matter. Go out and slam. That's what it's all about. 25 minutes, an hour, whatever they give us, we're going to take full advantage of and just do it. Uh, that's what we live for, too, is just being on the road, playing the songs, and that's what it's all about. You know, you spend 23 hours a day with your hand up your ass on a bus trying to figure out what you're going to do, and it's that one hour that you get on stage that makes everything just spin. That's the thing you do, you know, and if you can't get jacked up when you walk out and you hear the fans, you know, the, the roar that comes right before you go on stage, you shouldn't be doing this, man. You know, it pumps you up. Thanks for hanging around two years and waiting on us, man. You know, these guys had some other commitments they had to do, and I got an opportunity to do a few things that I wanted to do outside of the band, and now we're back. I think we made the best record we've ever made so far. We only got two, but I think they're both pretty good. This one's a step above, I believe, and we're just going to go around the world two years nonstop kicking ass. So thanks for supporting us and staying with us. July 13th, Stampede.